everybody, it's Atomic Tom. Atomic! We're going to do some awesome experiments today, all to do with bubbles, as you can probably tell from this bowl and some bubble mixture and a few other bits and pieces. So, our bubble experiments are really, really good. There are loads of different things you can do. And as always, I hope that your experiments descend a little bit into chaos and you start going, oh, I wonder how this works. I wonder how this works. So please do try loads of different things, not just the things that I'm showing you and see how you get on. So before we get started on our experiments that I'm going to show you, we need to think about what a bubble is. We need to talk about what a bubble is. What's a bubble? A bubble is very simply a gas trapped inside a liquid, okay? So there are amazing cool things that we can do with bubbles, but essentially it's just a gas like air, a mixture of gases, trapped inside a liquid, like fairy liquid, okay? Or bubble mixture, that's all it is. For example, if you're sat in the bath and some gas goes in the bath, yeah, it makes bubbles. Don't look at me like that, you've all done it before. You know what I mean. So, a gas in a liquid makes bubbles. So, what we're going to do is we are going to make some really, really cool bubbles. I'm sure you've all played with bubble wands and bubble machines and you've made these bubbles fly around the garden. Those bubbles are round, they're spheres, spherical. We're going to do some almost impossible experiments. People used to think that this was impossible to make a square or a cubed bubble, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do some slightly different things to normal spherical or hemispherical bubbles. So to do this, what you need is a nice big mixing bowl. And you might recognise one of these. In one of my other videos, I said that you might need to make one of these. Um, so I'm afraid I didn't give you any instructions for it. It was a bit of a see how you get on, have some fun with it. Um, but as I mentioned then, I get these from Cochrane's of Oxford. There are probably other places that you can get it, but that's where I get it from. And they're brilliant. And I'm not getting paid to say that, um, but just so you know. But you need to make one of these cubes. And that's how we make our cube bubble. So we get our mixing bowl with some water in, and then we put some fairy liquid in like that. Now we're not doing the washing up, so we don't want loads of bubbles on top. We want the fairy liquid mixture in there, in the bowl. And then we'll just give it a little bit of a stir so that it does mix in with the water a bit better. But as you can see, I did that quite gently so that it didn't, didn't make loads of bubbles on the top. Okay, just try my hand off a bit. And I got some spillages. Good, made a mess already. So now we're going to use our cube just here. Okay, so the way that this works, the first experiment we're going to do is we're going to think about the idea of bubble mixture being quite stretchy. Because what it does is it kind of, the little atoms in it stretch out so that they can trap some air. So we're not going to trap some air this time, but we are going to see how stretchy they are by just dipping the cube into the bubble mixture. And hopefully you can see the kind of shiny, shimmery film, the bubble film that we've got just there. And just to see how stretchy the bubble mixture is, we're going to do some really easy experiments. I'm just going to bounce that up and down, and hopefully you can see it looks like a little bit of a trampoline until it pops. Boing, that was a good one. There we go. So you can get it, hopefully see it bouncing around, boing, that bubble film. Another thing that you can do is you can blow it very slowly, and that stretches it out as well. If you blow it quickly, then it will just pop. But if you blow it slowly, you'll hopefully be able to see it stretches out. So that shows us that our bowl mixture is stretchy. So now what are we going to do with that? Okay, another cool thing we can do is we can get our bubble film, just like that, our wall of bubble. And this almost looks a bit like a magic trick, but really it's science. I'm going to show you how to put your finger into a bubble without popping it. I popped it that time because there's something else that you need to do. You make your bubble wall and then you dip your finger in the bubble mixture and then you can put it into the bubble wall and it doesn't pop. Now, I don't know if you can see that that's still there, but there's the bubble wall and we can put our finger in without it popping. Need a bit more bubble mixture on my finger. There we go. Awesome. So, a couple of experiments to do, nice and easy. Now we're going to make our square bubble. Now, this isn't hard, but there's a bit of a knack to it. There's kind of a trick. You have to put it all the way under the water, make a little mountain with one of the uh, corners of the cube, and then you slowly bring it out of the water. 
and the way that those bubbles join together make our square in the middle. Hopefully you can see that square just there. If I turn it on its side, you can see how thin that square is, hopefully, right in the middle. Tiny little square, uh, very, very thin bubble wall. So there is our square bubble, and we can make that bounce around a little bit. But I said we were going to make a cube bubble. So, like the last one, easy, but there is a knack. We go all the way in, make a mountain. Oh, that one didn't work. All the way in, make a mountain, and slowly bring it out. Now, it doesn't work every time, that's okay, just keep practicing. All the way in, bubble mountain, bring it out. There's our square. Now, you lie the square down flat. Popped again while I'm talking. So in, mountain out, and then we lie the square down flat, put it in a little bit, mountain out, and look at that. We've got our cube bubble now. Bit tricky to see the way that the light's bouncing off it and things like that, and possibly because there's a white background, but hopefully you can see that that works, okay? So if I put my hand behind it, you can see that bubble in there. So that is a cube bubble. And sometimes you can even put your finger inside without popping it and tickle the inside of that bubble and it still hasn't popped. How cool is that? So loads of different experiments you can do with bubbles. That will probably take a little while to get all of those done, but have some fun with it. As I said, if you come up with any others, let me know, please. I love playing with bubbles, so it's always good to know some new experiments. Nice big atomic science shout. Atomic!